Yo, what's going on ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today we are once again back on Modern Warfare and I wanted to share with you guys the best class setup for the new HDR in the state blueprint. Uh, this is actually a pretty decent blueprint if you guys take a look at the stats that come with the original one. Uh, we have really, really good accuracy and control and we get a very, very minor boost to range and mobility. Now if you guys take a look at the stats for the class setup that I'm going to share with you, we get a really nice boost to accuracy, that same boost to control except we get a nice little boost to range fire rate and mobility as well which is really really nice uh, we didn't need the accuracy as high as it was with the original blueprint because it is the HDR and it does extremely well from long distance so uh, we took down the accuracy just a little bit and uh, and raised a few of our other stats so if you guys take a look at the attachments we're not going to be using a muzzle the barrel that we're using is the 26.9 HDR Pro a really really good attachment for this sniper rifle as you guys will see we get a huge boost to accuracy range and control control. The laser we're going to be using is the TAC laser, so one of the main reasons we're using this uh, is so that we can improve our aim down sight speed with this thing. If we're running around and we encounter a situation where we have a close range or even medium range gunfight, uh, we want to be able to scope in really quick and this TAC laser is going to help us get that aim down sight speed back up uh, so that we don't, we're not extremely slow when it comes to doing that. So if you are someone that likes to quick scope, the TAC laser is a really, really good way to go as it will boost your accuracy, your mobility, and your control. The optic that we're using is the same optic that came with the original blueprint. I didn't want to change it because it did obviously uh, mean to have that smaller optic, the VLK 3.0 optic. It's obviously not the variable zoom or the standard scope, uh, but it is a really good scope to use for not only long range, but those close quarters gunfight situations. Obviously giving us a huge boost in mobility and uh, control as well. The stock that we're using is the FTAC Hunter Scout, so with this we're getting aiming stability, giving us a boost to accuracy and control. We lose a tiny bit of mobility here, which isn't that big of a deal, uh, but a really good attachment to have. We're not going to be using an underbarrel, which is only the bipod, and we're not going to be using any extra ammunition. Uh, last but not least, the perk that we're using is sleight of hand. Obviously, the sniper takes a while to reload, and with not that many shots uh, available in the chamber, you want to be able to reload pretty quick. So sleight of hand is a really good attachment to have for the snipers, obviously boosting our fire rate. So I'll give you guys one last look at all of the attachments. You guys can see the stats. Now, if you guys have any questions or anything else to add about this specific glass up, make sure to leave it down in the comments section below, and I'll be sure and try to help some of you guys out. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see all you guys in the next.